Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is good that we uh, gather together, uh, even if it's uh, across digital lines. Uh, we've been gathering in person. We've been gathering on, uh, uh, obviously, YouTube. But we are still the church together. And I am so thankful for your part as being a part of the body of Christ. You know, the Apostle Paul talks about that in 1 Corinthians. And in that, he talks about that some are a hand, some are a foot, some are an eye or an ear or a nose. And, and each part's important. I wonder if we really remember that as we interact with one another. Well, I've been having a thank you series, a Thanksgiving series uh, this month. And we started with thank you, God, for Sabbath. That, that need to be able to find rest, renewal, and refreshment uh, for our souls. And how important that is so that we then relate with ourselves maybe. So the next one was thank you God for me. Thank you God that for what you have given to each one of us and how that God loves us and calls us a beloved child and how important that is so that we also then relate to others. You remember as a child that we folded our hands up and here's the church and here's the steeple and open the doors and see all the people? Well, when you see that, you see that there is a connectedness. You see that there is an interwovenness about being in relationship with other people. That's the church. But you know what I've also thought about recently? It was a campaign in the United Methodist Church and and I may have misunderstood it because they did the same thing. Here's the church, here's the steeple, open the doors and see all the people. I wonder, in fact, I'm almost certain that it wasn't about us looking just at the people inside the doors when we open them. But when we open the church doors, do we see all the people that God has put within our community, within our neighborhoods? Do we see them as people that uh, God values as well? One of the things that I've certainly been thinking about in my own life and my own growth as, as a person who relates to other people is that uh, um, I've been given the joy of sharing. I love giving to people. I love sharing my life with other people and giving in ways that help them. Uh, obviously, ministry is a good part of that, a big part of that. So I share, I get joy from sharing with others. But it's occurred to me that if I don't allow others to share their joy with me, then I'm not celebrating their joy. Sometimes we think about it when our kids were small and they would bring us dirty weeds that were flowers or they'd make us mud pies and say, look what I made for you. And, and we would rejoice in that. And I wonder if we've uh, treated other people uh, wrongly when we haven't shared their joy of wanting to give to us. You see, Jesus did that. Remember that there was a woman who, one, one instance it said, this woman broke some perfume and anointed Jesus' head with it. Another, it says that this woman broke the bottle and, and spread it and anointed Jesus' feet. And, and some were complaining about that. That could have been spent for this or for that. And Jesus didn't want to steal the joy of that woman giving to Jesus. And Jesus accepted that. I wonder if in Thanksgiving that we can begin to be at a place where we say, I thank God for me. But I thank God for you. I thank God for you and, and who you are in my life. And I wonder if instead of talking about politics or, or whatever else that might divide us in, in, during the season of Thanksgiving, that we can begin to go around the room and say, you know what, I thank God for you because you have touched my life and enriched my life in such and such a way. I've been going through my own heart and, and, and soul and thinking of all the ways in which people have given to me, people in the church and, and some people outside the church. I ran across another image. It was talking about a pastor who was on his phone a lot. 
And I would assume that you, too, could be on your phone a lot. What happens when it gets to be low battery? What do you do? Well, I hope that you'll think about plugging it back in. But I also hope that when you are yourself or being in a place of a low battery within your heart, that you'll think about it connecting, connecting with God, connecting with yourself, and importantly, connecting with those people who will recharge your batteries. Recharge your batteries that you are full and connected and interwoven and recognize that God will help you to see all the people, not just those within the church, but those without that we might share the love of God with all, to see all the people. In Jesus' name, may it happen for you and me. Amen.